Hi, I'm Eric. Hi, I'm Gervais. We're here to update you on USB 4. We can't visit you. We can't visit each other. We thought this would be a good time. Gervais, we just announced USB 4. What's going on? Yeah, so USB 4 is based on the USB Type-C cable and connector. That single cable provides not only data, but video and power. But in addition to that, USB 4 adds what I call convergence of protocols. And not only do we have existing USB and DisplayPort support, but USB 4 now adds PCI Express as well as Thunderbolt 3. So that convergence of protocols adds even more capability to that single Type-C cable and connector. So imagine in the near future, USB 4 enabled hosts, desktops, laptops, and that single cable and connector connection goes down to say a hub or a dock. And through those hubs and docks, you have all this legacy peripheral support from all these various protocols that are supported. But not only your traditional host uh, applications, but now you have some exciting new areas, applications like what I call office in your pocket. So imagine a future USB 4 enabled smartphone. You use it like you normally do as you're carrying around during the day. And then when you get to your office or your home, you plug into a USB 4 dock, you connect to all your various peripherals, it could be a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, and all of a sudden you have your office right there, powered off of this USB 4 uh, enabled smartphone. And we have two examples of USB 4 peripherals that are likely to come out quickly. One is a USB 4 mass storage device or a USB 4 SSD that'll run at twice the speed of USB 3.2 or four times the speed of USB 3.1. The other is an AI edge device implemented as a compute stick. A compute stick could be plugged into any PC for software development, for debugging, as well as scalable. So you could plug in multiple of these to add greater AI capabilities to whatever platform you're using. To support these new applications, we have a complete solution of USB 4 Phi router controller and verification IP. So the first applications for USB 4 are gonna take advantage of the latest advanced process nodes. So we'll be providing support for five nanometer as well as six nanometer processes. And then for the next generation of USB 4, more mainstream designs will also uh, be providing support for the 12 nanometer process node. Those will be a little bit more economical in terms of process costs and we want to be able to provide that full spectrum of USB 4 SOC designs. To handle the USB 4 protocol, we are developing a USB 4 router, which handles the 40 and 20 gigabit per second new speed modes. We will have a USB 4 controller, which will handle, handle USB 3.2 and earlier speeds, as well as verification IP for simulating and testing the controller, the router, and Phi together. That's great, Eric. So for our audience members that want more information on our USB 4 solution, please go to synopsis.com, reach out to us, or contact your local Synopsis salesperson. Thanks for watching.